We've covered a lot of contagious diseases that relate to you today, but what about the ones that affect your pets? Well, Jillian brought her adorable pup, Seven, because Jillian has some questions, and here to help answer them is veterinarian, Dr. Ruth McPete. So, Dr. McPete and Seven. Hi, Dr. Thank you for coming. She's a little scared. Yeah, she's I'm clinging so, to you. She's like, I was so, I was ready to impress you with her training of the sit, stay, and that's not <laughs> happening. She heard we uh, were talking about vaccinations. So. Apparently. Um, well, as you may or may not know, I am actually a huge animal lover and a dog I have rescuer. Heard that. I have many of them. This is my best one, but again, <laughs> apparently she's got some nerves. Uh, and I want to know a couple of things. First of all, Distemper. Mm -hmm. uh, I rescued a dog that had distemper, and I wanted to know that if other people's dogs have been vaccinated for distemper, I've heard conflicting things that your dog can still catch it. True or false? Um, that is actually false if they're fully vaccinated. Really? The distemper vaccine is a very effective vaccine. However, it's very important that just like with babies, dogs are getting a full series of vaccinations. They should be getting them as puppies. They'll get a full series, and then they should be getting the recommended boosters. If they get all of that, then they are considered fully protected. But again, it's really important that puppies get all of their vaccines because some people think that if they've had one vaccine, they're protected and they're not. Well, which brings me to my next question. Uh, if I have a puppy, when is it safe to take the dog to the dog park? Great question. You really want to make sure that with your puppy or with kittens that they are fully vaccinated till they're, you know, until they're, when, when they've gotten all those vaccines, okay. then they can go to dog park or dog, pe dog beach. But you want to avoid those places because they are more likely to come in contact with contagious diseases like distemper or parvovirus, and they're not fully protected till they've had that full series of vaccinations. And you actually have another interesting little factoid when we go to the dog park something we need to be aware of. Yes, um, nothing to really scare people about, but people should be aware of the fact that if you have a dog that, like your dogs, that are frequenting the yeah, beach or the park, absolutely. and they're really friendly, and if they like to give kisses, uh, then they can come in contact with another virus, the papilloma virus. It can be very alarming to people when they see it because this virus causes warts on the lips and inside the mouth, and people will see it all over the tongue and in the mouth, and it's pretty disgusting. The first thing they ask me, of course, is can they get it if their dog's been licking their face? And the answer is no. Luckily, it is a species-specific virus, so it does not spread from dogs to people. Okay. Um, and it's actually also harmless. So the good thing is that in young dogs, once their immune system matures, they usually respond to the virus and it regresses on its own without treatment. Dr. Oh, McBee, thank you Thanks so much. Seven, you are such you a good are so sport. Good. Thank you She's so much. Thank you. She figured out we're not going to give her a vaccine I know. Today. I'm like, look what happened. You won her over. <laughs>